Hi, I'm Dr. Sue Hunter, and I'm a mentor here at Cal Southern University. This is the introduction to 2302, which is abnormal psychology. So far in psychology, in general psych, and other classes you might have taken, you've learned about behavior. In abnormal psychology, we're going to look more into the actual mental disorders. You're going to learn what the DSM-4 is. That's the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual in the fourth version. This is the Bible for psychology and for diagnosing mental disorders. So if you have what you think is, let's say, ADD, ADHD, you go to your doctor and your doctor's going to say, yeah, you can't concentrate, so you have it. Let's put you on Ritalin. What he really needs to be doing is opening up the diagnostic manual and seeing if you actually do have it or not. The problem that we're having lately is overdiagnosing ADD, ADHD. Most of you know someone who has that and is being medically treated for it. They're taking Ritalin. If they were to open the manual up and actually diagnose correctly, I think you'd see that they don't have ADD. Most of the time, their IQ is high, they get done with their schoolwork early, and they get bored. But because the medical doctors are diagnosing it and not looking at the manual, they're over-diagnosing. And of course, then, we're over-medicating our children. It's not just our children, it's also our adults now. You see those ads on the TV? You too may be depressed. Well, they're just trying to sell, sell you their Seroquel. They're trying to sell you the med. They're trying to get you to, get you to go to your doctor so you can get their medicine. That's not really how it should work. When you go to the doctor, they should send you on to the psychologist and actually look at the manual and see if you really do have depression. So to define abnormal psychology, we first have to define normal. The odd thing about defining normal is normal changes. So as we go through time, what we define today as normal, tomorrow may not be normal anymore and be classified abnormal. Let's take Elvis Presley for an example. It used to be abnormal for any man to wiggle his hips on TV like that. Now, if you look at what Michael Jackson had been doing, you'll see it's not abnormal anymore. So that's an example of how things can change from abnormal to normal and vice versa. What used to be normal is now abnormal. I really look forward to working with you in this class and seeing you and your papers.